Welcome to our place, we've been waiting. Time for some fun and celebrating. Something is always ready to pop. Here at the Naughty Shop. Music and magic, hey, it's showtime. Naughty and you will be friends in no time. Billy O'Goblins are living there too. The place where make-believe comes true. Believe it or not, here at the Naughty Shop. Lovely day. Noah, something's wrong with the train. It just stopped all by itself. <sighs> Must be a, a wire crossing there. I tell you, this train's got a mind of its own. Fetch the ball, puppy. Oh, it's so nice to see Planet Pup getting such a good run and having such fun. Fun. See, si, yes, Granny. He and the little boy play so nicely together. You little puppy. Don't worry. I'll always take care of you. I found a dog! You found what? A dog! Look! Let me pet it. A dog! A real dog! Wait! We were playing fetch! Isn't she Aww. sweet? I'm calling her Patches. Do you think that's a good name? Can we keep her? Keep her? Can we keep her, Grandpa, please? Please? She's a friendly little dog, all right. I wonder if she's got an owner. But if she doesn't, can we keep her? Well, if you promise to look after her when you're here, and I suppose I could look after her for the rest of the time. Yes! Let's go show Patches her new home. Sure. <laughs> Patches. Kids, if we find a real owner, we'll have to give her back. Yeah, we know. Yeah, that. yeah. Mm -hmm. yep. Yep. But, but, what about me? Oh, poor planet pup. What are those goblins up to now? Boy, I'd like to have a dog someday. Hey, Mom, Dad, can we get a dog? You know, a dog who we can walk every day and who can play with me and who can protect us. Really? You mean it? I can get a dog? All right! We'll take care of you forever, Patches. Yes, I thought he was going to take care of me. Uh, that's okay, Planet Pup. We can still take care of you. That's right, Pup. You're still our favorite tin dog. But, but he just wants to play with a r r real dog. Oh, fiddlesticks. He's just playing with that other dog because she's new. He'll remember you again someday. Pup and Pluto. Do you really think so? Sure, Planet Pup. We just gotta remind him that you're here. Let's get started. Now you're talking, Pup. You're headed for a comeback. I can feel it. Ah! <laughs> Let's go! I can't wait for my new dog. We'll play catch and go for walks and... <laughs> <laughs> Mom? Dad, is that you in there? <laughs> Thanks anyways, Mom and Dad, but you're really not the kind of dog I wanted. <laughs> if this doesn't do it, nothing will. All right, Planet Pop, it's time to strut your stuff. Sounds like it's time for a song. Pizza, <laughs> 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 with pizzazz. 
He's the mutt with the most. He can outdo any doggy. Hey, I don't want to boast. He's as smart as can be. Yeah, he's pure pedigree. And he's itching just to be your friend. He never has fleas. He can jump in the air. He can spin like a dial. And there's nothing he won't do to make you smile. He's a boy's best friend, it's true. Now all he needs is you. Play with me now? Mm, I want to play fetch just like before. Shh. We'll find out. Here they come. Uh, over here. This way. Uh, over here. <laughs> Bye, puppy. I've got another dog now. <sighs> oh, I feel awful. Yeah, Rusty. Me too. But that's one cute little puppy. Huh. See? Mm. Bumpy Dog is like our dog. But Bumpy Dog is always knocking people over. That's why he's named Bumpy Dog. Does Naughty ever take care of Bumpy Dog? I think so. Tell us the story of Naughty and Bumpy Dog. Well, okay. Hmm, let's pretend. It was a noisy morning in Toyland. I shan't be able to have any breakfast today until Mr. Milko gets here. You've had the last of my milk, Bumpy Dog. Stop it! Get down! Down! Milko! Milko! Oh, there he is now! Hello, Bumpy. Oh! 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 oh. Oof. Oh, well caught, Noddy. I'm sorry, Mr. Milko. Bumpy Dog can be very naughty. Oh, I'm sorry too, Noddy. I'm sorry I'm late. Everything's going wrong today. What's the matter? Well, I had a letter from my brother. He's not been well, so I must go and see him. But I can't take a day off me milk round. I'll do your milk round for you tomorrow, Mr. Milko. Oh, would you, Noddy? Oh, yes. I should love to be a milkman. <coughs> and Bumpy would like to be a milkman's dog. Look. <coughs> oh, Bumpy dog. Oh, no. I shan't even be able to deliver milk today. I'll help you. We'll mend your cart later, but first we can deliver your milk in my car. And you can teach me what to do, so that I can do your round and you can go and see your brother. <coughs> oh, where is that milkman? He's very late. <coughs> Here's your milk, Miss Pink Cat. I'm sorry I'm late. I should think you are sorry. I'm off to have my whiskers curled this morning. Oh, no! Keep that horrible dog away from me. He's only being friendly. Oh, make him put my tail down. Bumpy, drop that. I'm sorry, he thinks it's a bone. Drop it. 
Oh, really? I shall pay you your two pennies, Milkman. Not with that dog around. Don't worry, Mr. Milko. I'll collect four pennies from her tomorrow. Oh, I wish you sold milk, Dinah doll. I need something to drink with my bananas. <laughs> good morning, Bert Monkey. Here's your milk. Oh, that's good. I was beginning to think the milkman wasn't going to bring me any today. I'm really very sorry. Stop it, Bumpy. <laughs> Bert Monkey's not stealing that bottle. He's going to pay for it. No, I'm not. It's smashed. Oh, dear. Oh, dear. Please don't worry, Mr. Milko. I'll pay for that bottle. Take another one, Bert. I'll give you your penny tomorrow when that dog's not around. Bye! Do you really think you can do my milk round, Noddy? Oh, yes. Oh, yes, please. Oh. You mustn't let Bumpy Dog come with you. I won't, I won't, I promise. All right. But as soon as we've delivered the rest of this milk, we really must mend my cart or I'll never be able to deliver milk again. <laughs> there. Thank you, Mr. Tubby Bear. My word, that cart is quite a weight. Now we have to tighten up the wheel. Oh, where's my spanner? You put it down just behind you. But now it's gone. Oh, we must have knocked it under the cart. <laughs> oh, 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 sorry. <laughs> Bumpy dog. dog. That's my spanner. Bumpy, bring that spanner back. Come back. Oh, goodness. He's run off into my garden. We'll never get this wheel mended now. And I shall be much too late to catch my train. Don't worry, Mr. Milko. I'll take you to the station. And I'll find that spanner. Ah, perfect. <laughs> oh, Mr. Tubby, did you find the spanner? Yes, indeed, Noddy. Bumpy Dog was trying to bury it in my back garden. Oh, Bumpy. Oh, 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 oh. However, I rescued the spanner and, while you was away, I finished mending the wheel. Thank you, Mr. Tubby. Tomorrow morning, you'll be able to start your milk round on time. <coughs> I'll look after Bumpy Dog, Noddy. I won't let him out of the house until you've finished your round. Oh, thank you. Bumpy, you must be a good dog. <laughs> Bumpy Dog doesn't know how to obey. Yeah, Patches is already a better dog than Bumpy Dog is. She's away. Let's go play with her. Okay. <sighs> no one will ever play fetch with me again. <sighs> I will. But, but you're a goblin. I'm supposed to chase you. I know. But I've always wanted a pet. <gasps> you have? And I wondered, could I take care of you? I mean, would you be my pet? Well, uh... I could try, Goblin Earthling. I... I need a new friend. Great. Now what do we do? Um... Uh, I don't know. What do you want to do? <laughs> Choo-choo-be-doo-be-doo! Now, I'll just ease up on the old throttle. Um, hi, Grandpa. Still trying to fix that train? Well, I was uh, just giving a little test run, just to see what was wrong with it. <laughs> oh. <laughs> well, how's Patches? Um, I think she's out back playing with Truman. Oh. We're gonna go get her some food. I think she really likes it here. Mm -hmm. Well, why don't you just run along? I... I got a lot of work to do. <laughs> oh, well, okay. Bye, Grandpa. Bye-bye. Bye, Noah. Bye. <laughs> okay. 
There we go. Oh, you two children. Oh, hi, Kate. Hi, DJ. We are on a rescue mission. What are you trying to rescue? A little dog, to be precise. What kind of dog? Well, she's furry and has four legs and a little... Oh, <laughs> what am I telling you this for? I've got a picture of her right here, see? Her name's Jessie. Her owner was down the street with his little girl handing out these flyers, so Agatha and I volunteered to help find her. Mm -hmm. oh, which reminds me, Kate, could you please put one of these up in Noah's store? I'm sure it will Thanks. Anywho, duty calls. We simply must get these posters up around town. Certainly somebody's seen this dog. See you later, kids. Keep an eye out for Jesse. Slow down, you two. What's the rush? What were you talking to Agatha and April May about? Uh, nothing. Yeah. What's that you got in your hand, DJ? Oh, it's just a piece of paper. Mm. Uh, well, we're going to go see Truman and Jesse. Uh, Truman and Patches. Mm. Uh, strange. I, I thought they were going outside to get some food for Patches. I don't want to give her back. She's our dog. Kate, why don't you tell Truman what happened to Naughty? Do you want to hear about Naughty now? Well, remember, Naughty left Bumpy Dog with Mrs. Tubby Bear. He thought everything was going to be fine. <sighs> what a lot of money I've collected from Mr. Milko. I knew I should be a good milkman. Where is the milkman? He's away, so I'm delivering the milk instead. You owe me two pence for today and two pence for yesterday. That's four pence, please. I know that. Here you are. You'll have to collect my empty bottles from the step. Have you got that horrible dog with you? No, I haven't. You're not even late. So I have nothing to complain about at all. <laughs> Oh, no. What are you doing here? Oh, oh, Noddy. I do apologize. Bumpy Dog got away. Master Tubby let him out. Leave those bottles alone. Oh, oh, oh. Oh, good heavens, what's happening? Good morning, Mr. Sparks. Your milk will soon be here. Oh, good heavens, what is happening? Stop! Bumpy dog, stop! Bumpy dog, whatever are you doing? Oh, Dinah Dog, Mr. Milko will be so upset. Bumpy Dog is ruining my milk round. Here, Bumpy, I've got a nice bone for you. Oh, Dinah, thank you. Come on, Bumpy. I'll take you home until Noddy's delivered all the milk. You're very kind, Dinah. But now I must find Miss Pink Cat's empty bottles. Oh, there you are. Two pints, please. Oh, help! Who's that? Ah, Noddy. I heard you was delivering the milk today. I caught these two bad goblins stealing cakes last night, so I shall need two extra pints of milk. Here are two extra pennies for you. Thank you, Mr. Plod. <laughs> Mr. Milko will be pleased. Two extra pennies. He'll think I'm a very good milkman after all. <laughs> <laughs> Hello, Tessie Bear. Hello, Mr. Milko. Get in. I've come to drive you both home. Hello, Noddy. How are you? How's Bumpy Dog? He's very well. But I'm so glad you've come to take him home. How did you get on with my milk round, Noddy? Did you deliver all the milk on time? Yes, I did. And look, I made two extra pennies for you. Oh, you really are a very good milkman. Well done, Noddy. 
Oh, I'm so pleased. I shall have to ring your little bell. <laughs> so in the end, Nardy really did do a good job for Mr. Melko, and he took care of Bumpy Dog. Yeah, he sure was responsible. I guess. I guess we have to be responsible, too. That means we have to give her back. No, Grandpa said we could keep her. Truman, that was before we found out that she belonged to someone else. Yeah, we have to give her back. You children! Hi! Oh! Do my eyes deceive me, or is that a certain little doggy you have back there with you? Um, Aunt Agatha, we kind of have a problem. Can we come over and talk to you? Well, that sounds like a very good idea, DJ. I'll put the hot water on. Tea for me and Coco for you. Yeah. Truman, you stay with Jessie. Her name's Patches. Okay, you stay with Patches. We're gonna go talk to Aunt Agatha. She'll help us figure out what to do. You throw the ball, and I'll go fetch it. I can't lift it. Too heavy. <laughs> but how can we play fetch if you can't throw the ball? I'm trying. Ugh, this isn't working. Mm, why can't you throw the ball like a real boy? A real boy can play fetch with me like a, like a real pet. You're not a real pet. You don't have any fur. You're made of tin. So? You're... You're a goblin! You're just playing with me because Truman has a real dog. He doesn't want a pretend I dog. I was too his pet, but you're too small to have me for a pet. Why don't... Why don't you just go home? All right. I will. My parents are right about you. We could never be friends. There, there, Planet Pup. Don't feel bad. Goblins and us? Well, it's like cats and dogs. We just weren't meant to play together. But he really tried to be my friend. And I hurt his feelings. <laughs> hmm. Maybe we were wrong about those goblins. Hmm. I shouldn't have said those things. He was just trying to help and be my friend. Whoa! What? Help! Oh, oh, and Saturn! Booples in trouble! I'm coming! I'm coming! What's going on? Help! Help! Oh no, the edge! Help! Play it, pup! Just like a real dog would. Ah, uh, you'd have done the same for me, goblin boy. <laughs> Who cares if we can't walk on a leash or, or, or play fetch? We can just be friends, and you can still chase me around all you want. Really? My mission is to chase goblins. Sure, but I bet you can't catch me. <laughs> I bet I can. <laughs> What in tarnation's all that noise about? Kate! DJ! Truman!
gentlemen. I'd like to talk to you. Do I have to give her back? Yes, I, I'm afraid so. I'm sorry. Why do I have to give her back? You said I could keep her. Well, what I said was that if we found her family, then, then we'd have to give her back. But why? Why do I have to give her back? I love her. You know, Truman, there's probably somebody out there who, who loves this dog just as much as you do. And it would break their heart if they thought that they would never see her again. They'd feel sad. Mm-hmm. And you're not the kind of fella that wants to make somebody feel sad, do you? No, Grandpa. Oh. Well... Okay, sailor. What do you say that we heave anchor and go inside? taking such good care of my Jesse. You're welcome. Poor Truman. I think Truman's finding it hard to say goodbye. But he doesn't have to say goodbye. I don't? No. You could be a dog sitter and babysitter on the weekends. Really? I could? Sure, all of you can. Yes! There. Maybe this time. All aboard. Hip hip hooray! 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 Hip